I have experience sending a resume into what I consider a black hole. That's a pretty common experience these days. And after a cursory glance at Mary's resume, career counselor Eileen Williams finds a pretty common mistake that may explain why. Some of these darker gray areas that you have here might throw the scanning machine off and actually eliminate you from the candidate pool. Thanks to the advent of resume scanning software, odds are your CV has to get past the machine before it gets to an actual person. So if you want to be considered you may want to consider a tech-savvy resume. Tip number one, throw out your creativity, give them what they want. Williams says because the software scans for keywords, you have to be specific. For instance, take a job posting that requires eight to ten years of experience. Joe actually has 15 years of experience, but he was very smart. He put down 10 plus years of experience because that related specifically to the number they requested in the ad. Tip number two, Turn your resume upside down. Instead of starting with experience, put a bullet point list of skills at the top, specifically ones mentioned in the ad, in the order that they're mentioned. In the posting, they put their skills that they want in a certain order. You want to follow that order. And she says, make sure it's surrounded by plenty of white space. If you're worried about gaps between jobs, group them together in two or five year spans. But the most important lesson for Mary. A resume has to be your tool and it has to be specific to each job. Now it's estimated this tracking software screens out about half of all resumes and 90% of major companies are reportedly using it. For help improving your resume, head to cbssf.com slash consumer watch. We're going to post links there to both Eileen's career counseling website and to East Bay Works, a program that helps job seekers.